Hi, my name is Michael, and today I'm going to be explaining how you can use logarithms in a real-life situation. First, let me set the stage. Today I'm going to deposit $100 in a bank, off which I'll receive compound interest. And we all know how compound interest works. There will be an exponential increase in my savings over time. So where do logarithms come in? Let's say I'm an ambitious young man and want my initial $100 to increase to $500 purely off my compound interest of 5%. And I'm just curious, how long exactly will it take me to reach $500 off 5% compound interest? The banker may tell me, I don't know, but it's gonna be sure heck long of a time, but I still wanna know. So now we have a variable t as the exponent, and that's where our problem lies. How will we solve for t? We need to isolate it on one side of the equation, and we can't do it with multiplication, addition, division, or subtraction, but we can do it with logarithms. Here's how. A logarithm is not a complicated concept. For example, the exponential equation 3 to the power of x equals 141 is equivalent to the logarithm log base 3 of 141 equals x. You can observe that this logarithm is simply a rephrasing of the original exponential equation equation with an important difference. The variable exponent is isolated on one side of the equation. Now we can solve for x. This allows me to answer my compound interest question. How much time will it take me to get $500 from my original $100 compounded monthly at 5%? If we input all this information into the compound interest equation and simplify it, we have 5 equals 1.00417 to the power of 12t. Here's where logarithms come in. In this case, we will be using another rule of logarithms which says that a to the power of x is the same as writing x times log of a. Notice how the x is now not an exponent anymore and can be solved as a coefficient. We will use this rule of logarithms on our equation. We can write 12t times log of 1.00417, effectively bringing the variable t down from the exponent to a place it can be easily solved. But we must also apply log to both sides of the equation to keep things balanced, and we finally get 12t times log of 1.00417 equals log of 5, which we can easily solve with a calculator, and we see that t equals 32.178. Now we know how logarithms work and how we can use it in a real life situation such as compound interest. Remember logarithms are very helpful when we're trying to solve for a variable exponent because it brings the exponent down to a coefficient which can easily be solved. More importantly, now you know you can't really make a fortune by just depositing money in your bank.